two-time NR NHRA Top Fuel World Champion, the fastest female in sports. Please welcome Brittany Force. The fastest female in sports. We're honored to have you in the building, Brittany. Earlier, you did a swap with Bones Highland. Tell me about that jersey swap. size and let's be honest the Clippers are not going to get a real sample size before now in the end of the year with this lineup having said that it's really really trending in the right direction the Clippers have found something here I may have found something here tonight as well a dominant effort to start this one off for the first five minutes Williams inside no rebound goes to Morris here come the Clippers on an 11 to 2 run they've done their damage around the rim 16 other 17 points at the iron can they add a couple more to the ledger Zoo powers his way up a whistle and a foul and Evita Zubats will go to the line for two in those first five minutes the Clippers produced four turnovers okay active hands anticipating getting in passing lanes which produced seven points off those turnovers and Zoo made himself available Paul George with the beautiful bounce pass to find them Clippers are going to be in the bonus the rest of the way to foul against Oklahoma City. We get a quick word from Kia. One more coming here for Yavitsa Zubac, but again, the Clippers are 8 of 9 from the field. Westbrook with the rebound inside, surrounded by defenders, will be a jump ball. Great hustle there for Westbrook. But I would I would put that five minutes, Coach Vitello, up against any five minute stretch the Clippers have had all season long, for sure. Put it in a jar and save it. <laughs> you can do it again some other time, but Westbrook comes from the second spot to force the jump ball and gives the Clippers another possession. And he fires the three. And Gilgis Alexander with a running rebound does not have numbers. While he can shoot the three, does it very often. Giddy for three, misses, rebound, goes to Williams, has it poked out of his hands, and here come the Clippers once again. Westbrook in transition. Morris looks at the rim, Giddy closes out and hands to Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi backing down on Giddy, up, under. And a little too strong with the touch, and Dort with a rebound for OKC. Clippers 8 of 11, Oklahoma City 2 for 8. Giddy, the floater off the window, too strong. Poked out to Dort for the 3, hard off the heel. And the Clippers have just really overwhelmed Oklahoma City here in the first half of this first quarter. 
Ball poked free by Gilgis Alexander. They will say the last touch by Kawhi Leonard. He lends a brief argument and then retreats back defensively. And Shea Gilgis Alexander gets one back after Kawhi Leonard had taken one before. <laughs> he returned the favor. Giddy bouncing into George off the window and in. Count it and give him one more on the house. First foul against the Clippers here with 5.43 to play in the frame. You see Giddy putting that ball down with his left hand, shooting it with his left hand, taking the contact, but he's a right-handed free throw shooter. And there's a reason for that play. I'm going to tell you about that later on, why he's so good with his left hand. Not, hold on, I'm going to write that one down. I can't wait. 18-7, okay. to seven, Clippers out in front. Stagnant offensive attack here, and now Leonard was across the lane. A bit of confusion, I'm assuming, so Paul George says, let me handle this. Finds Morris in the corner, fires a three, wide right. Rebound pokes skyward, and retrieved by the Aussie Kitty, and here comes Oklahoma City the other way. Five first quarter turnovers for Oklahoma City. Very uncharacteristic. Dort alone in the corner for three. Rebound pinballed around. Jalen Williams inside doing work. Rookie lays it up and in. Whistle and a timeout for Oklahoma. Bigger part for the Clippers. 18 to 9. Five minutes to play in the first. Check it out. Check it out. 